Hello again. In this video, we will draw this hook. We will have good practice on both sketch and loft feature. Let's start with a sketch on the front. And here, as you can see, we have this circle and it's 70 millimeters diameter. So draw a circle and give it a diameter of 70 millimeters. Then we have this part here and the radius is 125 and here we have the offset of the center point of this arc from the x-axis. So select a three-point arc and draw something here. I drag this and set the radius first. Then the offset value is 34.5. So select the origin and this point, then this distance is 34.5. Now let's set some relations here. We need this arc to be tangent with this circle. Now let's draw this arc. The radius is 94. Now let's draw this arc. The radius is 94 and we have an offset from the center point of this circle, which is 11. So pick a center point arc and start somewhere here and draw this arc. Now this distance is 11 and we need this line with this point to be horizontal. And finally, this radius is 94. Then we have this arc, the radius is 82, and we have two offsets, one horizontal and one vertical. So pick a center point arc again, and then start somewhere here, connect these, and draw this arc. So the radius is 82, and the offset here is 12. Set the radius first. And then we need to place this offset. And finally, try to drag it. That's why we need to set these to be vertical. Now we have a fully defined arc, but this point. After completing this, we need to draw this part. As you can see, the center point of this arc is horizontal with the origin point and the radius is 125. So again, select center point arc, start somewhere here, and draw something like this. Now, select this arc and this one and set them to be equal. Connect these two points, and then drag this here, and set it to be tangent with this one. And this point with the origin should be horizontal, and drag this a little bit here. Finally, we need to close this, and we have a radius of 10. So pick a tangent arc, start here, and close it here. Now we have a tangency here, but we need to set a tangency here, and we know that the radius here is 10. Now we have a fully defined arc. Let's proceed here. Let's set this part for now. So we have a straight line and the length is 52. So pick midpoint line and start somewhere here. Give it a length which is 52 and make sure it's horizontal. Now, the height of this line, we have this distance, which is 290, and we have this, which is 70. So the height from this point up to this point will be 220. Pick a small dimension and set this to 220. Then, 
we need to set this point with the origin to be vertical. Draw a straight line and let's see what we have here. We have an arc, the radius is 45. So pick a tangent arc and start here. Then set the radius. And we know that the height is 131 plus 7, this one. So pick a smart dimension and set a distance 131 plus 7. Then as you can see, we have a straight line here. So we need to connect these. And then we need to set a tangency between the line and this arc and we need to do it again here. I drag these dimensions so you can see the details of this sketch. Now I draw another line here and then we have this arc which is 125 in radius. So pick a tangent arc and draw something like this. Now this is 125, so it's equal to this one. And we can define this distance here, which is 131. And finally, we need a straight line. So pick a line and start here and end it here. These should be tangent and these should be tangent too. And trim this part. And trim this one. And we have a fully defined sketch. Now finish the sketch. And we need to define some sections so we can connect them using the loft feature. So for the first section, which will be here, we need to offset the tab. So select the tab from here, reference geometry plane, hold control and select this point. Now start a sketch here. Pick a circle, start in the middle and snap to this point. And finish the sketch. Now we have this section here. So we need to pick the top plane and start the sketch there. Now we need to sketch this section, which is section BB. The one is here. Let's start with a center line. And the total height is 70. So this should be 70 here. Then pick a three point arc. Now select this point, hold control, this point and this line, then select make symmetric. So once you select two entities with a center line, then you can set them to be symmetric. Then select this point, this curve, then make coincident. The radius here is 70, so set this to 70. And drag it something like this. Now we have another arc here, which is 10 millimeters radius. Pick a tangent arc and draw an arc here. Set the radius to 10. Then, as you can see, we have this distance here from the end of the arc, which is 25. So from this point to this center line will be 25 divided by 2. Now drag this point, then we have a straight line, then we have another tangent arc, but these should be equal. Then we have another arc here. Now select this point, hold control this point and this line, then make symmetric and select this point with this line and make coincident. 
the radius of this one is 140. Let's set this to 140. Now we need to mirror everything about this central line. Select mirror entities, select this arc, this one, and this one, and then select this central line. We still have this dimension here, which is 65, and you can see it's tangent to this curve here and tangent to this curve here. Let's draw a central line somewhere here, then make it horizontal, then make it tangent to this arc, and let's draw another one here. Make it horizontal and make it coincident and finally make it tangent. Now the distance between these is 65. We still need to define tangency here. And now we can move this sketch as one unit. And instead of dealing with all these dimensions and relations all the time, select the whole thing and then make block. Hit OK. Now we have it as one block. Now we have this sketch as one single block and you can move it as one unit. Now we can move this block in any direction we want, as you can see here. So we need to place it here. That's why I convert this entity, then turn it into a construction geometry, then select this point in the middle, hold control and select this point, then make coincident. Now we need this line to be horizontal. And here how we place this sketch in its right position. Now finish this sketch and we need to define this section here which is AA and following these dimensions. To do so let's start a sketch on the right plane and now here make sure to go to commands and write block. Then insert block. So the last plaque you defined will be inserted now. Click here, then click here. We need to change the orientation of this section, so we will set this to be vertical. Now we drag it somewhere here, and now we need to modify some dimensions. That's why right click here, and you will find this option Explode Block. Before we start setting dimensions, let's double check the relations. Now let's double check the relations we have. So this line should always be vertical and this one should always be vertical. This one too. Now let's try to change them. Now we are ready to define the dimensions. So the first one is 55. So let's set this to 55. Then this radius is 12 here. and. I think we have another radius. We have this one which is 58 and the other one is 58. So let's define the first one to 58. And this distance is 34.22. So set this to 34.22 divided by 2. Now we cannot be 100% sure that this section will fit here perfectly, which means this arc will be tangent here and this arc will be tangent here. That's why I will delete this dimension. Then I will select convert entities. I will convert this curve. Then go back to the C view and pick a center line and snap to this point. I draw a line here. Then convert this to a construction geometry. Then convert entities again and this time Let's convert these curves, go back to the C view, and from the lowest point, I draw another center line. Now set this to be a construction geometry, and this one. Go back to the C view, let's select move entities, select the whole thing, and 
the starting point will be this point here. Now snap to this point and set it here. Then let's select this curve, hold control with this line, then make tangent. Now when we apply the loft command, it will work because we are sure now this section touches this curve. Finish this sketch. Edit the definition of this sketch and draw a center line between these two points and turn this to be a construction geometry and turn this line to be a construction geometry too. Now we want to create a plane here. That's why we need to offset the front by any distance you want. I'll say 20. Start a sketch here and now I will convert this line. Since I have two lines now, I can create another plane. Hide this plane and select reference geometry again. Select this line and select this line. Now let's start a sketch on this new plane and this time select circle, snap to the midpoint and snap to the end point. We have a fully defined circle. Finish the command, hide this plane. Now let's select loft, select this circle. As you can see, I picked here, so make sure to pick somewhere close to it when you select the other section. If you face this problem, you just need to move this control point. Now, for the guide curve, select this curve, then hit OK, and select this one as the second guide curve, then hit OK, then finish the loft. Finally, we need to close this geometry here. There are some options to do. We can define a point, then create another loft, but there's a very nice command. If you go to Insert, then to Features, you will find Dome. Simply select this face, and you will have this dome here. You can change the dimensions. So I think this will be 7.3, or let's say 7.7, .7, something like this. And we will have this nice shape. Hide the sketches. And now we need to create the upper part. Now let's draw this part. The diameter is M42 and the pitch inside is a 3. We still didn't talk about the threading. That's why let's draw a cylinder here. So on this face, sketch a circle and give it a diameter of 42. Then extrude this to 70. Then Select the front again, and here we have this distance, which is 7. Let's draw a 3-point arc, snap to this point here and here, and set this point with this line to be coincident. This distance is 7. Then close this sketch. And they draw a central line here, snap to the midpoint. Finish the sketch and select Revolt Cut. 360, then hit OK. We need to apply a chamfer here, and the value is 4. So select 4, and select this edge. Finally, you can give it a color here, so expand this menu, and you can, since we have only one body, we can select the whole part and give it a color. So select appearance, and select yellow for example. That's it for this practice. We practiced the sketch skills and the loft feature, and we got introduced to this new feature, the dome. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.